Domo. Today I'm going to be talking about reviewing, discussing, whichever, um, the Bleach chapter 459. I'd like to start off by saying that this chapter absolutely did it for me. It it gave me everything that I needed. We have explanations, we have character returning, we have action, we have dialogue. It it was it was really, really good. So essentially the chapter starts out, you know, as a continuation of the last one. Ichigo is absolutely freaking out at the revelation that Jinjo is is paired up or teaming with Tsukushima. And like he literally has no one now. Everything is just going completely wrong and then we we get an explanation of how Tsukushima cut him twice and well basically what he did was he removed all his memories and then like so he could help Ichigo and then he's got his memories back now and etc etc. Jinjo took his full brain powers back so he doesn't have that anymore which is completely and utterly pointless. This whole arc was pointless but uh, what can you do? Okay so the next thing that happens is that Ichigo's dad and Urahara pop out just randomly out of nowhere which I I was waiting so much for them to come back because you'd, you'd seen them like a little glimpse like what the hell are they doing this is making no sense and they're finally here which is great we still don't actually know why they're here or what they were doing yet well I'm pretty sure that's coming soon um but the first thing that Ichigo notices is that he's got this like sword <laughs> he's, he's being stabbed by a sword and it Immediately he thinks that it's his dad because he's right behind him. He's like, even my dad? Are you are you kidding? So he breaks down even further. He's like, oh my gosh, my dad as well. But his dad says, no, it, it's not me. It's not what you think. And then Ichigo realizes that it's Rukia. He has come back. Yay! <laughs> I miss Rukia. She's like one of the only females in anime that I really, really like. So I'm so glad that Rukia's back. First thing that I noticed when Rukia came back was her appearance. She's obviously changed. Her hair is a bit shorter. It doesn't have like the, you know, her hair was like a bob and then it splayed out. Now the splayed bits are gone and it's she's look she looks really really good. Um, she's got a slightly different outfit. And one thing that I noticed straight away it was like one of the first things they did. She's got the lieutenant badge on her arm. Oh, so exciting! So exciting! This whole thing is very exciting. Um. At least I hope that was the lieutenant badge if it wasn't egg on my face. Anyway, but I'm pretty sure that it was. So is that in the 17 month time skip that, you know, people have acknowledged what she's done and she's finally become a lieutenant. Yay! <laughs> I love Rukia, I really do. Next bit is where the, the title of the chapter really makes sense. The title is called Death and Strawberry 2. And if you remember way back when, the first chapter was called Death and Strawberry. Like that's when Rukia stabbed Ichigo and gave him his Shinigami powers initially. And now she's stabbed him again and he's got his powers back, which I'm just, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy about because I had enough of this stupid, stupid full brain crap. It was awful. Literally had no relevance. Bloody Mr. Pig and Ichigo's full brain being a coat and then a freaking cocoon. It was absolutely awful but I'm so happy that his Shinigami powers are back. His Zanpak toe is huge. It was always huge but now it's like momentously huge and his outfits changed a little bit you know. I love the outfit. This is what I really noticed in the chapter. People like style. Style is really big this chapter. And he stands there in his like traditional well, like his signature pose where he's got his Zanpak toe on his back like or like resting on his shoulders like that. And he's just like, I'm gonna fuck you over. Um, really excited for the next chapter. Really excited. Hi, I'd like to apologise. I had a little technical difficulty. The end part of my thing didn't record and I'm not re-recording it. I, I tried to make a joke about it. And it didn't anything. really work. So that's all I really have to say. And I'll see you next video. Bye.